All right. I had something to say right now. Um, this is my uh, petition for uh, Jan Brewer. You know, she doesn't have respect for the President of the United States of America, so I won't even address her by her uh, title. Um, you know, she's supposed to be a governor of Arizona, but governors don't shove their fingers aggressively in uh, the face of the President of the United States of America. So I'm just going to call her Jan, because she's not a governor, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, here's my petition. We petition for Arizona Governor Jan Brewer to either apologize to President Obama directly to his face or be fired, replaced, and or appropriately medicated for completely and intentionally disrespecting the office of the President of the United States of America and its chief by disrespecting its chief leader, her boss, her superior, who she answers to and who she must have forgotten that she is a subordinate under. Our President of the United States of America, President Barack Obama. On Wednesday, January 25th, I think it was, 2012, Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, I'm oh, sorry, just Jan Brewer, just Jan, aggressively shoved her finger in the face of our President Barack Obama. Yes, the guy who freaking killed Osama bin Laden and all the Al Qaeda terrorist leaders. She has obviously lost her friggin' mind and proves that she is a bad role model who sets a bad example for America as she is disrespecting her own country and her own office. And she is also inciting other crazy people, including but not limited to racists, to treasonously, treasonously assault the office of the United States of America, allowing her to get away with this offensively upsetting and outrageously ignorant behavior, either unpunished or unmedicated, or without an apology, encourages a dangerous trend of aggressive hostility towards American leaders and political figures, as evidenced by American history, especially anyone of color or ethnicity. We do not want what happened to Gabby Giffords, MLK, JFK, or Abe Lincoln to happen to anyone else or become a trend. Seriously. Plus, we don't want crazy people like this governor even running errands, let alone states, uncorrected and unmedicated. We have to draw the line on this unprecedented, usually racially tinged, disrespect towards our president. We are America. We are better than this. At least, you know, we think we are. This woman needs to be made an example of uh, for others to see in order to kill the treasonous disrespect towards our first black president and any president before this disrespect elevates to something more sinister. All of the, I mean, even if she did it as a stunt, you know, where she wanted to just look good to her people that, that are voting for her, to her base, that doesn't matter. She did it, it's wrong, and other people are going to see it, and they might feel inspired to also disrespect the president in ways that are a larger assault, more to his face, directly. All of the outrageous, irrational, and justifiable disrespect launched on our president is all wrong and shamefully repulsive. But the fact that this disrespect is elevated to the level of aggressively disrespecting our president to his face on camera not only outrages us with fiery rage, but it also it sends a shiver down all our spines at the realization that the minority of our population um, of people, people with irrational and brainwashed hostility towards our president is graduating to aggressive assaults directly to his face. This madness is a disease that must be stomped out like a bug right now. So stomp it out. Okay. Alright, dear Jan Brewer, this one's just for you, this message. That's more personal. Okay. Alright, dear Jan, Janny Poo. Jennifer. Alright, so your poor excuse for your poor behavior is that you were mad at President Obama for not letting you get your way when he blocked your racist little Hispanic racial profiling law that you arrogantly expected the Supreme Court to approve and you were also offended by President Obama informing you that he did not like or understand your inaccurate portrayal of him and his 30-minute group meeting with you and others at the White House as patronizing or condescending in your book after you two-facedly two -facedly agreed with him that it was a cordial meeting. Directly after that meeting, to his face you said that. Then you totally lied about it right after that. Well, Jan, you are the one with the painfully evident superiority complex and a profound lack of common sense, class, manners, education, and basic professional protocol. You're nuts, honey. You are the one who appears to think she is above the law. You deserve to be patronized by the entire United States of America for your absurd ignorance and clearly poor upbringing that would allow you to arrogantly think you are higher or above the president and allowed to disrespect him at all, let alone directly to his face. 
Oh my god. You who can't even talk with basic grammatical accuracy like an educated woman in televised commercials for yourself. I don't I'll have to find the link, but I saw this this link of this web um thing of you where you're just like um you you're talking and you just just you just randomly just stop and like you look down and like you're just like um um and you're just like and so what I um so all that we have did was so great. All that we have did. And it was just like, what? Are you a governor? Dude, if that's all it takes to be a governor, I could be a freaking governor. And I don't have any focus. Okay? I have no attention span or discipline. But even I could be a governor if you can be a governor. Oh my gosh. So anyway. Um, let me see. You can't... Okay. So Jam, not only do we feel you are not an intelligent woman. Sorry, honey, you're not. But you're cl it's clear that your lack, your clear lack of understanding and respect for authority deserves the utmost condescension from the entire world, not just the honorable noble president whose office and country you have so flagrantly and outlandishly disrespected and made a mockery of. Okay. So, Jan, to be painfully, honestly blunt, we the people think that you are a classless, rude nutcase and a crazy racist bitch. Yeah, that's you. Um, and that you're lucky that you're not a pirate or a terrorist. Because if you were, President Obama would send in his Navy SEAL Team 6 in on you to magically surprise you in the middle of the night with their Bruce Lee ninja moves like Jagger. <laughs> you insulted the guy who protected and defended our entire nation, you ass! What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh! The guy who could take you, also take you out in a YouTube second if he had to. What's wrong with you? Okay, you're out of your mind, Jan. Just, ooh, la, 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 la. The lights are on, but nobody's on. The lights are on, but nobody's on. That's you, Jan Brewer. And, um, I don't know, but we really hope that one day, for your sake and more especially ours, that you go back on your meds. Get those meds, girl. Get them back. Get on them. Get on those meds. Get them, girl. Okay. So, um, we want to, to apologize to our president, like someone with intelligence and respect for her country and her president. Apologize to him. And then we'll be pretty happy. So, um, yeah. Is that, is that patronizing and condescending enough for you, honey? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm a socially conservative independent, and I approve this message. Later. <laughs> Woo-hoo.